honestly, I don't know how many of you use social media. It is a bit of a weird thing and it's very, very different from the way that we were brought up. You know, back when we were kids, the only information that you would communicate, well, could either be face to face in a note or on the telephone. Social media has changed everything and I think it can be a bit of a struggle for a lot of parents to get their heads around how social media um, is so different from the real world. Just if someone came up to us in the street and said, what's your name, phone number, you know, what are your interests, hobbies, tell us all your friends. There's no way. Got any photos of you in a bikini? Um, uh, there's no way we'd give across any of that information. And yet, either we or our kids, uh, 600 million people, are sharing that kind of information and a whole lot more on social media sites every single day. Um, my overwhelming message when it comes to online and how to deal with it with your kids is stay calm and don't be an ostrich. It's not just full of cyber bullies. There are a lot of really positive things that your child can get from online and that you as a parent can get from the fact that your child is online. You know, the online world and Facebook particularly is a fact of life and part of our responsibility as parents is teaching our kids about nutrition, about road safety and about navigating the online world safely. That's really, really important. You teach them stranger danger and you teach them about protecting their reputation online. Something that can be really helpful is to sit down with your, your kid and say, explain to me how this works, whether it's Club Penguin, Facebook, whatever. What do you like about it? Show me how it works. And, and sometimes they'll really love this idea of being the teacher. Permission is power. Because the most powerful position you will ever be in is when you let your child do something for the first time. They will be so desperate to do that thing and get that permission that they will agree to anything. Use that player advantage very wisely because you only have it once. The first thing you need to do is negotiate the rules. Something that we did when my son first got his own laptop was that I drew up a contract and it outlined all the rules of the laptop. When my first son first started on Facebook, he said, oh, all my friends are on it. And I went, okay, let's see who your friends, which friends are on it. So I said, right, let's do it now. And he was pretty shocked. But by setting up his page together, I could control, I could set the privacy settings myself. We could talk about what he could and couldn't post online, um, what details he could and couldn't share, um, and all of those things. Google your kids. This is crucial. It's as important as taking them to, to the dentist, buying them new shoes, getting them immunised. Google your kids. Do it once a month. And they can't accuse you of breaching their privacy because the whole point is that anyone can Google you. <laughs> President um, Barack Obama was giving a talk to college students and one of them said, you know, President, Mr President, if I want to be a president in the future, what's the best thing I can do? And he said, the best thing you can do is go home and delete your Facebook account. Hopefully, as parents, if we do our jobs right, that stuff, that won't be necessary for our kids because they won't ha be at that point where there's all of this information and photos out there about them on the internet, either written about them or written by them. We have a rule that you can't be friends with anyone in, that you don't know in real life. I think that's really important. The other rule that we have and something that you've got to be really wary of is being friends with older kids. You've got to say, look, they might be a great kid, but is it appropriate for your 10-year-old to be hanging out with your 15-year-old's friends unsupervised, given what your 15-year-old or your friend's 15-year-old might be talking about? Just delete friends, delete comments, delete photos, delete tags, photos. Make sure you've got strong rules about photos. It might be no photos in school uniform that's identifying. It might be no photos of siblings. It might be no, identif no photos of mum. It might be a case of you should teach them if they're going to post a photo of themselves with a friend, they should ask that friend's permission. Again, it's about us teaching our children good social media etiquette. So you'll have to decide the level to which you'll snoop. Um, I think there's things like browser history, I think that's, that's perfectly acceptable to be able to look in your child's browser history. Consequences are something that's really hard. We know that the consequence part of a, a child's brain takes until their early 20s to develop. Uh, and the same for online. You need to always say to your child, you think no one's going to see it, but that can be screen grabbed, it can be forwarded, it can be seen over the shoulder by someone's parent, it can be taken to the police, it can be taken to your school. Instill fear. Yes, I've got a friend who told, um, who found um, porn on her daughter's um, laptop and she told her daughter that, um, that she knew, she didn't want to say she'd been snooping, she said, oh, you know, we've got this new software that comes with our wireless router uh, and it gives us a, 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 um, a report every day of every site that's been accessed by every computer in the house. <laughs> Not true, but they don't know that, so... <laughs>
we don't want our kids to be the victims of bullying, but we also don't want our kids to be cyber bullies themselves. Even though they didn't realise that forwarding a message or showing someone a message that was intended for someone else, it is a form of bullying and it's a great, great way to educate both yourself as adults and kids about you know, the different ways. That, that's on looking. So when you see someone being cyber bullied, saying nothing, that's a type of bullying. Stay engaged. It's a bit like Joe's thing with follow up. Stay engaged. Keep communicating with them. Keep sitting down with them. Keep checking their social media profiles um, and just make sure that you're talking the same language. <laughs> <laughs>